So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, shout out to one of the most underrated Ravens that there are right now in Gus Edwards. The Ravens and Gus Edwards have agreed to a two-year contract extension. So he signed through 21-22 this season and then 22-23 the following season as well. A two-year, $10 million contract extension. Now, this doesn't put him up there with the highest paid running backs. So, Ravens are still getting a, a huge deal. They were already getting a huge deal with Gus Edwards on a tender. But this is still, even though this is a contract extension, this is a a bargain if if that's even, like, it's, it's even cheaper than a bargain for the Ravens. Like, Gus Edwards, they're getting him super cheap. Starting caliber running back for five mil per year. That's how much they had signed Mark Ingram for. And they were like, hey, you know what? It's not working out. We love you, Mark Ingram. We appreciate everything that you've done for this organization. But we're going to move on. So they essentially gave that money to Gus Edwards. So he will remain with the Ravens for the next two years. And me, I know, y'all know, I I've expressed it on here so many times that... Gus Edwards, he, he was somebody where I questioned how the Ravens really felt about Gus Edwards through, through their actions. Not their actions of how they played him because they certainly used him. Um, he was certainly, he's certainly an extremely efficient runner. But their actions by this, by the money. Because well, a lot of us felt like Gus Edwards deserved a pay raise. We felt like he deserved the contract extension. And we felt like he deserved that this year. We know him being an unrestricted, I mean, excuse me, an undrafted free agent, that he could be on a super cheap deal for a while. And Ravens would have that advantage because they, they would have him as an exclusive rights free agent. Then they could just offer him tender after tender. And the tenders are much cheaper than signing him to a contract extension. So, and we know that Ravens, they, they like to get the most bang for their buck, so to speak. Um, so we expected that to continue this year with Gus Edwards. So this contract extension, it is a little surprising, but I'm happy for Gus. I'm very happy for him because he is somebody that they, he, he continues to work. He continues to get better. He continues to progress. His first year, he came on the scene this big, bulky guy, super physical running back, strong, stiff-arming people, running people over, north-south runner. And I was like, okay, this, this Gus Edwards guy, he's something. He is something. And I remember comparing him and, and Mark Thompson, who I really liked. But Mark Thompson, he didn't end up making it. I think he went to the Jets, and after he went to the Jets, I never heard from him again, unfortunately. But Gus Edwards stuck around with the Baltimore Ravens. And again, north-south runner, very strong runner. Very decisive guy. When he goes, he goes. And he sticks with his decision. He ain't out there jumping around. He ain't got happy feet in the backfield. None of that. He makes his decision and rolls with it. But then, in the second year, he slimmed down. And I was like, whoa. He, oh, okay. And I was a little bit worried because I'm like, man, Gus Edwards, he slimmed down a bit. Ooh, yeah, he'll have some more speed, which is great. He'll have some more bursts, which is even better. But will he have the same power? That's what I was worried about. If he would have that same power, but he didn't lose it. He didn't lose an ounce of it. Not one ounce. And Gus Edwards, he took his game up to another level. So after you slim down and you still have power, how, how else can you add to your game as a running back? Well, the following year, he did just that. Mark Ingram, of course, Mark Ingram was a starter. Because Mark Ingram was Mark Ingram. Had a phenomenal 2019 season, uh, and then starting out in 2020, he was a starter. He was a guy. Uh, but Mark Ingram, he uh, it just it, it wasn't working out the same. It, it just it, he hadn't looked like the Mark Ingram from the previous year. Uh, and Ravens, they, they, the offensive line wasn't the best, but still, Mark Ingram when he would get in the games, a lot of times it just things wouldn't click. Now it wasn't every time because he did have some runs where he popped them off, but. When Gus Edwards was in and J.K. Dobbins were in, it, it looked a whole lot better. So Mark Ingram, he began getting phased out of the game. Uh, and Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, they were implemented a lot more. But not only were they implemented a lot more, 
Gus Edwards, the part of his game that was implemented this past season was in the passing game. And I appreciated that so much. I really did. And you almost got to feel like maybe Mark Ingram was a big part of that uh, because maybe he, because you know Mark Ingram is the teamiest of the team players that you may ever, ever get a chance to watch in the NFL. This dude's support level is through the roof. Through the roof. This dude will ride with his teammates like y'all already know what I'm talking about. Shout out to Mark Ingram, man. Maybe it's an Ingram thing. But anyway, maybe he was a big reason for Gus Edwards really getting implemented in the passing game. Because maybe he showed him some little tips and tricks here. Because we know Mark Ingram with the Saints. Oh, he was definitely involved in that passing game. If you're running back for the Saints, you are going to be heavily involved in the passing game. But anyway, uh, Gus Edwards, that in that third year, this past year, he took he elevated his game to another height because he started catching passes. And it wasn't just like little dump offs here and there, like, oh, here you go, Gus, here's a screen pass. I mean, you know, Ravens, we don't really run screen passes anyway. But it was like, here, Gus, here's a five yard pass, here's a little check down. It wasn't just stuff like, no, 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 no. Like Lamar would drop back and Gus would really be running, and Lamar, whoosh. Sail it downfield. Not all the way downfield, but it was a significant distance. And Gus Edwards would catch it. I think my, my favorite catch from him, was it against the Giants? I feel like it was against the Giants. Maybe it wasn't, but it, it was a catch against some team. I forgot who it was. Where Gus was running along the sideline, and Lamar Jackson threw it to him. And Gus Edwards, I was thinking, okay, nah, if he drops it, okay, ain't no big deal. I ain't really expecting him to catch it like that. But Gus Edwards went up, went up and got it. Pull it down out of the air. He got hit, bounced off of somebody. He said, "What? Who, who does this guy think he is? Who does he think he is trying to hit me? What, like what? Caught his balance and then ran for a bunch more yards after the catch. That was my favorite catch from Gus Edwards. And then there was another one where it was like he caught it like at the five-yard line or something. Lamar threw it downfield and, and, and somebody was on Gus Edwards too. And I was like, oh, Gus, okay. So that was just another way for Gus to take his game from here to there. So shout out to Gus Edwards for continuing to improve in his game. So not only has he been a successful NFL player as an undrafted free agent, as an undrafted rookie free agent, but he's also a rapper too. So shout out to Gus Edwards for making it in, in all these different ways. Gus Edwards was like, hey. If football, if football ain't ever work out, then you know what? I got albums to drop. But football is working out. So he can continue to still do his thing with his mixtapes. But, hey, shout out to him and these running backs. And hopefully the Ravens this year, because last year they certainly had a mixtape at running back because they tried to give everybody carries. Everybody. But they ended up realizing that it was – Addition by subtraction, where they took Mark Ingram out the equation. And they really actually started rolling with the hot hands. So let's hope that the Ravens continue doing that moving forward. Uh, but we're glad that whatever they do moving forward, that Gus Edwards is going to be a part of it. So team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Gus Edwards won't be, I'm out.